you. Be 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 you. This blueberry peach oatmeal is a great recipe that will give you great nutrition. Oats are a great choice for breakfast, a snack, or even dessert. Did you know that our serving of oats has roughly the same amount of protein as an egg? Oats also have fiber, which helps your digestion and keeps you feeling full. Try to choose whole oats instead of instant oats. Your body will take longer to digest whole oats meaning you'll stay full longer and instant packets are often loaded with sugar. If you do choose instant packets, look for the plain kind, which shouldn't have added sugar, just like we're going to do today. You can add fruit to your oatmeal and it will taste just as sweet, but will be a lot better for you. For this recipe, you will need old fashioned oats, water, peaches, blueberries, vanilla extract, and cinnamon. For kitchen tools, you will need a large microwavable bowl, spoons, a serving bowl, a knife, a cutting board, and measuring cups or spoons. If you are able, buy fresh blueberries and peaches. First, wash your blueberries and peaches. For the peaches, carefully use your knife and cutting board to cut up the peaches. Remember, there is a pit inside the peaches. You will need to take it out. If blueberries and peaches are not in season, feel free to buy them frozen and thaw. Next, add oats, water, vanilla, cinnamon, half of the peaches and half of the blueberries to a large microwavable bowl and stir. Microwave for two minutes and stir again. Continue microwaving until oatmeal is the desired consistency. Be sure to watch the oatmeal in the microwave. It can easily spill over the bowl as it heats. Spoon this mixture into serving bowls and top with the remaining peaches and blueberries. Your breakfast, snack, or dessert is ready to eat. What's up? How y'all doing? I'm Robert Curry, and today we're going over some exercises and the proper technique. Before we begin, make sure you have on activewear, t-shirt, shorts, shoes. Now that we are dressed appropriately, these are the materials that you will need. The first thing is open space. The second thing is a jump rope, and last but not least, water. Before we work out, we're going to warm up with the jump rope. The jump rope will help blood flow through your muscles. After the warm up, we begin stretching. Stretching will loosen the muscles to prevent injuries. Now, we're about to begin the workout. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video and even try some of the exercises on your own. Make sure you comment, like, and share in the link below.
Today we're gonna to talk about some little football. We're gonna do a little couple of football drills. And but the first thing I want to tell you is that when you're playing football, never try to make a tackle uh, using your helmet because you can either hurt someone or yourself. So always try to make that tackle from the race down. And so the fundamentals that we're gonna talk about today, we're gonna to talk about some offense, some defense. Uh, run zones or run holes. First thing we're gonna talk about is run zone. The run zone is where you will run if you get in the ball. So basically, if your coach tell you to run like to the one, a three, or a five hole, that would be on your left hand side. If you tell you run to a two, or four, or a six, that would be over here on your right hand side. So for example, if you say one, you will run between the center and the guard, and the three will be between the guard and the tackle. A five will be on the outside of the tackle. So if you tell you go to a two, it will be over on your right hand side between the center and the guard. A four will be between the guard and the tackle. A six will be on the outside. So one, you'll run here. If he tell you a three, you're gonna run here. Come back and say a five, you wanna run over here to the outside. That would be one, three, and five on your left hand side. If he tell you run two, you're gonna run here. If he tell you a four, you wanna go here. And if he tell you a six, you wanna come out here to the outside. And that was your run zones or your run holes. So the next drill we're gonna talk about is shuffling and switching. This basically can help with your footwork and securing the ball. So if you're doing a shuffle and switch drill, and you're going to the left, you want the football on your left hand side, you're going to the right, football over here on your right hand side. So with the drill, we're gonna to go to the left first, football over here, shuffle our sleep. With the football over here, go ahead to the right, we're going back to the left, and back to the right over here. So and that was the shuffle and switch. When you go right to the left, football in your left hand, going to the right, football in your right hand. Then we got one more drill where we're gonna do the back pedal drill. And when you back pedal, you wanna have one foot in the front, the other one right behind and you wanna be on your toes. You don't wanna back pedal on your heels because once you back pedal, it's easy to stumble. As long as you on your toes, you can keep your balance, and it'll be a lot easier to where if the receiver make a play on the ball, you can break and make a tackle or break up the ball. Then we're gonna come back down to one more. I'm gonna show you on the defensive side where you're gonna have an A gap, a B gap, and a C gap. So in between the center and the guard on defense, the A gap will be here. A B gap will be between the guard and the tackle on the left and right hand side. And the C gap will be on the outside of the tackle. Then will be your defensive gap. So I wanna just say thank you for tuning in, watching this video. Hope you learned something. Please stay safe and have a good summer. Hello everyone, my name is Shatika. I'm the program coordinator here at Watkins Park Community Center. The staff here would like to let you all know that we miss you all very much and we cannot wait to see you. Thank you for joining our summer virtual program. Always remember to be you and stay safe. We'll see you guys soon.